Hey everybody, Basil here with an exciting new update for Zoom that I think you guys will enjoy. Um, so as you may know, we try to lock down most of our classroom meeting spaces with using the Google accounts that our students own and our staff members own. Um, but we know that that can sometimes make it a little difficult if we're trying to get people that are outside of the organization to join one of those sessions just temporarily. Maybe for one day you have a guest speaker or maybe during a all school meeting you have a guest speaker, they don't have a Google account, it can be a little tricky to get them involved in a Zoom meeting. Um, Zoom has recently enabled a feature for us that allows us to add temporary exceptions, guests if you will, to those meetings uh, using a single invite list. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. I'm going to go into my meetings. So I'll go into my classroom meeting right now, click on edit and then I'll select edit all occurrences. And once I do that, I can scroll down to my security settings where I'll see require user authentication to join. And then I'll have this option underneath of it to add an exception. So I can go ahead and add the participant now. John somebody. When I click on the save button, an invite will be sent directly to that email address and that user on the day of the meeting can click on the link that's included to join your meeting without needing uh, an at elhaines.org email address. One other limitation to note is that currently this feature does not work on personal meeting spaces. Now there is one limitation that I should note. Anybody that is using a personal meeting room to schedule their classroom meetings won't have this feature available to them. Don't ask me why Zoom chose not to enable that. They just didn't. What that means for you guys is if you are one of those teachers that does use a, a personal meeting space and link in their Canvas course, you may just have to create a new one-time Zoom meeting uh, and follow these same instructions to add the guests to it. Um, that would allow both your students to join using their Google accounts, uh, securing them, and this external participant to join. Um, it would only be that one time that you would need that external participant, and so you would then, you know, use only one Zoom meeting. If you decided to have a recurring external participant, then you may have to look into creating a recurring Zoom meeting that is separate from your personal meeting room. I hope this helps you guys, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to go to the intranet and the Ask Tech community under the IT department um, and submit your questions there. We'll, we've, we will definitely help you out as best as we can. And if you have any problems, never hesitate uh, to reach out to tech support, send an email to techsupport at elhaines.org uh, and we'll try to help you out uh, as quickly as possible.